what is an abstract class so this demo is about an abstract class abstract classes in java so what is an abstract class i'll explain that say i have a class shape you can think of any shape it can be circle square rectangle a shape is a generic term right if i have a method like this say void say i'll i'll just go with a method like this void calculate area what will be the code here when i say we are calculating area for a shape it doesn't have any meaning right how can you calculate area for a shape without knowing what that shape is so it's a, it's at a very abstract level when you take a look at another example class person can i use calculate salary for class person when you calculate salary salary is uh, specific it based on the designation it based on the numbers of years of experience that person has in the organization so for a person we cannot have this method calculate salary that is very abstract person is an abstract thing so when you are climbing up the levels of inheritance you will uh, you will find very abstract classes wherein you can't have methods say definitely a shape will have some area but we cannot calculate area for a shape so what we can do is we can call this an abstract method what is the meaning of abstract i am not able to define it here at this level so once when i say this is abstract what it means is it's not going to have a method body so method body cannot be defined for an abstract class you can't define define it here and what is an abstract class a class with an abstract method so when you have at least one of the methods to be abstract you call that class to be an abstract class very simple see you can also have other methods inside the class for instance i can have something like this say public void display some method for which i am giving the body here so sort this is a display method this is not an abstract method because we are defining what that method is we are having the method body given here whereas this one calculate area it's an abstract method i'll not be able to define it how will you say it's an abstract method you say abstract and whenever you have an abstract method in your class what is the type of the class abstract class the first rule is you cannot create an object of an abstract class say can i create an object of shape here shape s yes, is equal to new shape immediately an error comes cannot instantiate the type shape because it's an abstract class that's a rule you cannot create an instance of an abstract class can an abstract class have a constructor can an abstract class have a constructor an abstract class can have a constructor so this is another rule an abstract class is allowed to have a constructor let me just write it here abstract class can have a constructor so you see here i can have a constructor you can say this is constructor from the abstract class so constructor from an abstract class the next question we have is say we have a class that is abstract we are not able to create an object of this abstract class how to use this that's the only thing the way you are going to use your abstract classes you have to inherit this class and then you have to implement or you have to provide the definition of the abstract methods in your class that inherits this class say how to use this abstract class class square extends you have to inherit that class shape the moment you inherit this class there is a rule there is a condition that every method that is defined as abstract in your abstract class should be defined in the class that inherits it so how will you implement 
in uh, eclipse you have a very easy way add unimplemented methods immediately it tells us to add the methods here say i can just implement the area here sys out the area for square is for something like that so you get this default notation or default uh, message that we are overriding the calculate area method which is abstract in an abstract class you are overriding that by inheriting the shape so is the base class constructor called here how to check that so square s is equal to new square we will call s dot calculate area now let's see what's happening so when you are inheriting this you can very well see the base class constructor runs that is the shape class which is an abstract class and you are overriding the method here so we had this class shape and uh, i think i have a variable float area here and a constructor is also here this okay. constructor that's fine see anyway you are going to inherit it public protected you will inherit protected float area so int uh, here you will have this float area coming in and uh, you will have this dot area i think is equal to area okay and uh, one more thing is uh, you will have this abstract method right abstract uh, void uh, calculate area and uh, since it's an abstract method what you have to say it's an abstract class abstract class shape and you also have one uh, public method public void uh, display area so here you are going to say the area is this dot area okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to inherit this class extend it using a class square extend shape and uh, here when you are extending this you have to implement all the abstract methods so there are certain things that you have to do the one important step is you have a parameterized constructor in the base class or the super class so there is a need for us to pass some area initialize area so what i will do is see this is how you use the super method that is you can pass okay, i will i'll initialize that with 0.0f so that is taken care of calculate area so here you can calculate area and uh, for square what all things we need maybe we need uh, side so int side we'll say and uh, we'll also get the side here that is uh, int side we'll pass while you are creating the object and what we'll do is we'll say this dot side is equal to side so we'll initialize this and inside calculate area this dot area is equal to side star side so we'll do that so this is fine and uh, what we can do see our uh, code is almost done what we can do now is we can go and extend uh, create an object of type square and say s is equal to new square let me pass the side as two and now i can call s dot uh, display area before calling display area what we have to do calculate area so now we'll run this we should be able to get the area see there's one more thing here i can enforce this display area can be public final void display area what is the use of final here when i say public final void display area in the super class what does that mean you cannot override all the subclasses should be using the definition given here for displaying area so this is a final method is allowed in abstract classes that is one more learning another learning is i can also have a static method in an abstract class say 
I can say public static. You can have static method in your abstract classes, void test. So this is a static method. I'll say static method in an abstract class. And now what we can do is we can, how will you invoke the static method? You can very well call it as, how will you call the static method? Shape dot test. You have to use the class name. Static method is subtract. So we are calling the static method. Say you, you can also call square dot test. How you can call square dot test if you override the static method using another static method in your square class. So let me override this. So static method from square. See, you can always override a static method using another static method. So please understand that static method from square. How can you call this static method uh, in your subclass square dot test? So you just call it as square dot test. What all things we have understood now? An abstract class. What is that very first thing? It should have an abstract method. Then you define that to be an abstract class. An abstract class can have a constructor. You can have a parameterized constructor or a default constructor. Abstract classes can have final methods. Abstract classes can also have static methods, which we have seen. You can either override the static method or you can directly call that static method using the abstract class dot static method name. So these are things that we understand with abstract classes. So when will you get an error? Say you have an abstract method, you don't define it as an abstract class, immediately you'll get an error. And you don't have the definition for a method and then you don't define it as abstract, definitely you'll get an error. Can an abstract method be private? Can an abstract method be private? That's the next question. And abstract class shape, can I have a private void can I have something like this? This will in turn be private forever. This will be abstract forever. Nobody can inherit and give a definition for this, right? So that is why abstract methods cannot be uh, private. So you need to have some body if you are going to have a private method here. So these are some of the things we learn. Can we go to the next concept?